Thermochemical cycles combine solely heat sources thermo, with chemical reactions to split water into its hydrogen and oxygen components. The term cycle is used because aside of water, hydrogen and oxygen, the chemical compounds used in these processes are continuously recycled. If work is partially used as an input, the resulting thermochemical cycle is defined as a hybrid one. Topic. History. This concept was first postulated by Funk and Reinstrom, 1966, as a maximally efficient way to produce fuels, e.g., hydrogen, ammonia, from stable and abundant species, e.g., water, nitrogen, and heat sources. Although fuel availability was scarcely considered before the oil crisis efficient fuel generation was an issue in important niche markets. As an example, in the military logistics field, providing fuels for vehicles in remote battlefields is a key task. Hence, a mobile production system based on a portable heat source, a nuclear reactor was considered, was being investigated with utmost interest. Following the oil crisis, multiple programs Europe, Japan, USA, were created to design, test and qualify such processes for purposes such as energy independence. High temperature 1000 K nuclear reactors were still considered as the likely heat sources. However, optimistic expectations based on initial thermodynamics studies were quickly moderated by pragmatic analyses comparing standard technologies, thermodynamic cycles for electricity generation, coupled with the electrolysis of water, and by numerous practical issues, insufficient temperatures from even nuclear reactors, slow reactivities, reactors corrosion, significant losses of intermediate compounds with time. Hence, the interest for this technology faded during the next decades, or at least some trade-offs hybrid versions were being considered with the use of electricity as a fractional energy input instead of only heat for the reactions, e.g., hybrid sulfur cycle. A rebirth in the year 2000 can be explained by both the new energy crisis, demand for electricity, and the rapid pace of development of concentrated solar power technologies whose potentially very high temperatures are ideal for thermochemical processes, while the environmentally friendly side of thermochemical cycles attracted funding in a period concerned with a potential peak oil outcome. Topic. Principles Topic. Water splitting via a single reaction Let us consider a system composed of chemical species e water splitting, in thermodynamic equilibrium at constant pressure and thermodynamic temperature T H2O L display style right left harpoons H2 G plus one half O2 G one equilibrium is displaced to the right only if energy enthalpy change delta H for water splitting is provided to the system under strict conditions imposed by thermodynamics. One fraction must be provided as work, namely the Gibbs free energy change delta G of the reaction, it consists of noble 
Energy, i.e. under an organized state where matter can be controlled, such as electricity in the case of the electrolysis of water. Indeed, the generated electron flow can reduce protons H at the cathode and oxidize anions O2 at the anode. The ions exist because of the chemical polarity of water, yielding the desired species. The other one must be supplied as heat, i.e. by increasing the thermal agitation of the species, and is equal by definition of the entropy to the absolute temperature T times the entropy change delta S of the reaction. Delta H equals delta G plus T delta S display style delta H equals delta G plus T delta S two. Hence, for an ambient temperature T degree of two hundred and ninety eight K Kelvin and a pressure of one atmosphere atmosphere unit delta G degree and delta S degree are respectively equal to two hundred and thirty seven kilojoules per mole and one hundred and sixty three J per mole K relative to the initial amount of water, more than eighty per cent of the required energy delta H must be provided as work in order for water splitting to proceed. If phase transitions are neglected for simplicity's sake, e.g. water electrolysis under pressure to keep water in its liquid state, one can assume that delta H A delta S do not vary significantly for a given temperature change. These parameters are thus taken equal to the standard values delta H degree A delta S degree at temperature T degree. Consequently, the work required at temperature T is delta G equals delta G zero minus T minus T zero delta s 0 display style delta g equals delta g caret 0 tt caret 0 delta s caret 0 3 as delta s degree is positive a temperature increase leads to a reduction of the required work this is the basis of high temperature electrolysis. This can also be intuitively explained graphically. Chemical species can have various excitation levels depending on the absolute temperature T, which is a measure of the thermal agitation. The latter causes shocks between atoms or molecules inside the closed system such that energy spreading among the excitation levels increases with time, and stop equilibrium only when most of the species have similar excitation levels. A molecule in a highly excited level will quickly return to a lower energy state by collisions entropy, statistical thermodynamics. Relative to the absolute temperature scale, the excitation levels of the species are gathered based on standard enthalpy change of formation considerations, i.e. the stabilities. As this value is null for water but strictly positive for oxygen and hydrogen, most of the excitation levels of these last species are above the ones of water. Then, the density of the excitation levels for a given temperature range is monotonically increasing with the species entropy. 
A positive entropy change for water splitting means far more excitation levels in the products. Consequently, a low temperature T degree thermal agitation allow mostly the water molecules to be excited as hydrogen and oxygen levels required higher thermal agitation to be significantly populated on the arbitrary diagram three levels can be populated for water versus one for the oxygen hydrogen subsystem at high temperature T, thermal agitation is sufficient for the oxygen-hydrogen subsystem excitation levels to be excited on the arbitrary diagram, four levels can be populated for water versus eight for the oxygen-hydrogen subsystem. According to the previous statements, the system will thus evolve toward the composition where most of its excitation levels are similar, i.e. a majority of oxygen and hydrogen species. One can imagine that if T were high enough in EQ, 3, delta G could be nullified, meaning that water splitting would occur even without work, thermolysis of water. Though possible, this would require tremendously high temperatures, considering the same system naturally with steam instead of liquid water delta H degree. Topic: 242 kJ per mole delta S degree. 44 J per mole, K, would hence give required temperatures above 3000 K, that make reactor design and operation extremely challenging. Hence, a single reaction only offers one freedom degree T to produce hydrogen and oxygen only from heat though using Le Chatelier's principle would also allow to slightly decrease the thermolysis temperature, work must be provided in this case for extracting the gas products from the system. Water splitting with multiple reactions On the contrary, as shown by Funk and Reinstrom, multiple reactions e K -steps, provide additional means to allow spontaneous water splitting without work thanks to different entropy changes delta S degree I for each reaction I. An extra benefit compared with water thermolysis is that oxygen and hydrogen are separately produced, avoiding complex separations at high temperatures. The first prerequisites EQs, 4, and 5, for multiple reactions are to be equivalent to water splitting at trivial CF. Hess's law I Delta H I zero equals Delta H zero display style sum underscore I carrot delta H underscore I carrot zero equals delta H carrot zero four I delta S I zero equals delta S zero Display style sum underscore I carrot delta S underscore I carrot zero equals delta S carrot zero Five. Similarly, the work delta G required by the process is the sum of each reaction work delta G delta G equals I delta G I 
Display style delta G equals sum underscore I carrot delta G underscore I six as EQ three is a general law, it can be used anew to develop each delta G term. If the reactions with positive p indus and negative n indus entropy changes are expressed as separate summations, this gives delta g equals p delta g i zero minus T I minus T zero delta S I zero plus N delta G I Zero minus T I minus T zero delta S I zero Display style delta G equals sum underscore P carrot delta G underscore I carrot zero T underscore I T carrot zero delta S underscore I carrot zero plus sum underscore N carrot delta G underscore I carrot zero T underscore I T carrot zero delta S underscore I carrot Zero seven using EQ six for standard conditions allows to factorize the delta G degree I terms, yielding delta G equals delta G zero plus P T I minus T zero minus Delta S I zero plus N T I minus T zero minus Delta S I zero Display style delta G equals delta G carrot zero plus sum underscore P carrot T underscore I T carrot zero delta S underscore I carrot zero plus sum underscore N carrot T underscore I T carrot zero delta S underscore I carrot zero Eight. Now consider the contribution of each summation in EQ. Eight. In order to minimize delta G, they must be as negative as possible. P T I minus T zero minus delta. S I zero display style sum underscore p carrot t underscore i t carrot zero delta s underscore i carrot zero 
delta s degree i are negative, so t t degree must be as high as possible. Hence, one choose to operate at the maximum process temperature t h n t i minus t zero minus delta s i zero display style sum underscore n carrot t underscore i t carrot zero delta s underscore i carrot zero Delta S degree I are positive, T T degree should be ideally negative in order to decrease delta G. Practically, one can only set T equals to T degree as the minimum process temperature in order to get rid of this troublesome term, a process requiring a lower than standard temperature for energy production is a physical absurdity as it would require refrigerators and thus a higher work input than output. Consequently, EQ 8 becomes Delta G equals Delta G zero minus T H minus T zero P Delta S I zero Display style delta G equals delta G carrot zero T underscore H T carrot zero sum underscore P carrot delta S underscore I carrot zero 9. Finally, one can deduce from this last equation the relationship required for a null work requirement delta G0 P delta S I 0 delta G 0 T H minus T zero display style sum underscore P carrot delta s underscore I carrot zero G Q frac delta G carrot zero T underscore H T carrot zero 10. Consequently, a thermochemical cycle with I steps can be defined as sequence of I reactions equivalent to water splitting and satisfying equations 4, 5, and 10. The key point to remember in that case is that the process temperature Th can theoretically be arbitrary chosen 1000 K as a reference in most of the past studies, for high temperature nuclear reactors, far below the water thermolysis 1. This equation can alternatively, and naturally, be derived via the Carnot's theorem, that must be respected by the system composed of a thermochemical process coupled with a work-producing unit. Chemical species are thus in a closed loop. At least two heat sources of different temperatures are required for cyclical operation, otherwise perpetual motion would be possible. This is trivial in the case of thermolysis, as the fuel is consumed via an inverse reaction. Consequently, if there is only one temperature, the thermolysis one, maximum work recovery in a fuel cell is equal to the opposite of the Gibbs free energy of the water splitting reaction at the same temperature, i.e. null by definition of the thermolysis. 
Or differently said, a fuel is defined by its instability, so if the water, hydrogen, oxygen system only exists as hydrogen and oxygen equilibrium state, combustion engine, or use in a fuel cell would not be possible. Endothermic reactions are chosen with positive entropy changes in order to be favored when the temperature increases, and the opposite for the exothermic reactions. Maximal heat to work efficiency is the one of a Carnot heat engine with the same process conditions, i.e., a hot heat source at Th and a cold one at T degree. W Q T H minus T zero T H display style frac W Q L E Q frac T underscore H T carrot zero T underscore H 11. The work output W is the noble energy stored in the hydrogen and oxygen products, e.g., released as electricity during fuel consumption in a fuel cell. It thus corresponds to the free Gibbs energy change of water splitting delta G, and is maximum according to EQ. 3 at the lowest temperature of the process T degree, where it is equal to delta G degree. The heat input Q is the heat provided by the hot source at temperature Th to the iendothermic reactions of the thermochemical cycle the fuel consumption subsystem is exothermic Q equals I Q I Display style Q equals sum underscore I carrot Q underscore I twelve. Hence, each heat requirement at temperature TH is Q I equals T H delta S I display style Q underscore I equals T underscore H delta S underscore I thirteen replacing EQ thirteen in EQ twelve yields Q equals T H P Delta S I display style Q equals T underscore H sum underscore P carrot delta S underscore I fourteen. Consequently, replacing W delta G degree and Q EQ fourteen in EQ eleven gives after reorganization EQ ten, assuming that the delta C do not change significantly with the temperature, i.e. are equal to delta S degree I. Equation 10 has practical implications about the minimum number of reactions for such a process according to the maximum process temperature Th. Indeed, a numerical application delta G degree equals to 229 kJ K for water considered as steam in the case of the originally chosen conditions, high temperature nuclear reactor with Th and T degree respectively equal to 1000 K and 298 K, gives a minimum value around 330 J per mole K for the summation of the positive entropy changes delta S degree I of the process reactions. 
This last value is very high as most of the reactions have entropy change values below 50 J per mole K, and even an elevated one e.g. water splitting from liquid water, 163 J per mole K, is twice lower. Consequently, thermochemical cycles composed of less than three steps are practically impossible with the originally planned heat sources below 1000 K, or require hybrid versions. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Hybrid thermochemical cycles. In this case, an extra freedom degree is added via a relatively small work input wad maximum work consumption, EQ, 9 with delta G wad, and EQ, 10 becomes P delta S I 0 delta G Zero minus W A D D T H minus T zero Display style sum underscore P carrot delta S underscore I carrot zero G Q frac delta G carrot zero W underscore add T underscore H T carrot zero fifteen if what is expressed as a fraction F of the process heat Q EQ fourteen EQ 15 becomes after reorganization p delta s i 0 delta g 0 1 plus f t H minus T zero display style sum underscore P carrot delta S underscore I carrot zero G Q frac delta G carrot zero one plus F T underscore H T carrot zero 16 using a work input equals to a fraction f of the heat input is equivalent relative to the choice of the reactions to operate a pure similar thermochemical cycle but with a hot source with a temperature increased by the same proportion f. Naturally, this decreases the heat to work efficiency in the same proportion f. Consequently, if one wants a process similar to a thermochemical cycle operating with a 2000 K heat source instead of 1000 K, the maximum heat to work efficiency is twice lower. As real efficiencies are often significantly lower than ideal one, such a process is thus strongly limited. Practically, use of work is restricted to key steps such as product separations, where techniques relying on work e electrolysis, might sometimes have fewer issues than those using only heat e distillations. Topic. Particular case, two-step thermochemical cycles According to equation 10, the minimum required entropy change right term for the summation of the positive entropy changes decreases when Th increases. 
As an example, performing the same numerical application but with th equals to 2000 K would give a twice lower value around 140 kJ per mole, which allows thermochemical cycles with only two reactions. Such processes can be realistically coupled with concentrated solar power technologies like solar updraft tower. As an example in Europe, this is the goal of the HYDROSOL2 project Greece, Germany, German Aerospace Center, Spain, Denmark, England and of the researchers of the Solar Department of the ETH Zurich and the Paul Scherer Institute Switzerland. .Examples of reactions satisfying high entropy changes are metal oxide dissociations, as the product products have more excitation levels due to their gaseous state metal vapors and oxygen than the reactant solid with crystalline structure, so symmetry dramatically reduces the number of different excitation levels. Consequently, these entropy changes can often be larger than the water splitting one and thus a reaction with a negative entropy change is required in the thermochemical process so that EQ is satisfied. Furthermore, assuming similar stabilities of the reactant delta H degree for both thermolysis and oxide dissociation, a larger entropy change in the second case explained again a lower reaction temperature EQ, 3. Let us assume two reactions, with positive one subscript, at th and negative two subscript, at t degree entropy changes. An extra property can be derived in order to have th strictly lower than the thermolysis temperature, the standard thermodynamic values must be unevenly distributed among the reactions. Indeed, according to the general equations, two spontaneous reaction, four and five, one must satisfy delta H one O delta S one O delta H one O plus delta H two O delta S one O plus delta S two O display style frac delta H underscore one carrot zero delta S underscore one carrot zero 17. Hence, if delta H degree 1 is proportional to delta H degree 2 by a given factor, and if delta S degree 1 and delta S degree 2 follow a similar law, same proportionality factor, the inequality 17 is broken equality instead, so Th equals to the water thermolysis temperature. Topic Examples Hundreds of such cycles have been proposed and investigated. This task has been eased by the availability of computers, allowing a systematic screening of chemical reaction sequences based on thermodynamic databases. Only the main families will be described in this article. <laughs> Cycles with more than three steps or hybrid ones <laughs> Cycles based on the sulfur chemistry An advantage of the sulfur chemical element is its high covalence. Indeed, it can form up to six chemical bonds with other elements such as oxygen, e.g. sulfates, i.e. a wide range of oxidation states. Hence, there exist several redox reactions involving such compounds. 
This freedom allows numerous chemical steps with different entropy changes, and thus offer more odds to meet the criteria required for a thermochemical cycle CF. Principles. Most of the first studies were performed in the USA, as an example at the Kentucky University for sulfide bases cycles. Sulfate-based cycles were studied in the same laboratory and also at Los Alamos National Laboratory and at General Atomics. Significant researchers based on sulfates, e.g. Iron 2 sulfate and copper 2 sulfate were also performed in Germany and in Japan. However, the cycle which has given rise to the highest interests is probably the sulfur iodine cycle, one acronym SI, discovered by General Atomics. Topic Cycles based on the reverse Deacon process Above 973K, the Deacon reaction is reversed, yielding hydrogen chloride and oxygen from water and chlorine H2O plus Cl2 2 HCl plus one half O2 Topic. See also Iron oxide cycle Cerium IV oxide cerium 3 oxide cycle Copper chlorine cycle Hybrid sulfur cycle HYDROSOL2 Sulfur iodine cycle Zinc-zinc oxide cycle At 3 cycle